normally in balloons tower defense the strongest tower you can get is a paragon which is a combination of three t5s into one massive giant crazy tower now of course ninja kiwi has just released the sub paragon which is an absolute beast on its own the nautic siege core so that got us thinking what would happen if we actually merged the two water paragons together the nautic siege core with the navark of the seas into one absolute monstrosity of a water paragon all right the first one that we're gonna need to get is the sub we should just instantly go for twin guns which is, oh wait, no, 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 I need longer range too. Ooh, I almost, I almost didn't have enough for it. I am a huge fan of the Nautic Siege Core, the new sub that came out, the Paragon. It's really, I love the design with it. I love that it has a giant nuke to it, but I'm also excited to see what would happen if you actually merged these two Paragons together because they're already both absolute monsters on their own. Comment down below right now, how far do you think we can actually get? And if you think, we can, if you think this Paragon can beat round 200, hit the like button right now. I wonder what it would be like to be someone who is an actual, an actual banana farmer. Here's the one thing that I don't want about like banana farmers. The one thing that scares me, have you ever seen the banana spiders or the spiders that live within the banana trees? Have you not seen this? I gotta pull this up. So a banana spider, this they call it a banana spider. Look at these things. Look at how big this spider is. Look at that. That's terrifying. The, these things. Oh, these. So I don't know if that's actually a, a thing to be <laughs> concerned about or worried about, but it's a thing I'm concerned and worried about. This is gonna be the paragon. So we'll make that the Paragon. I think we kind of have to get Hot Shot, right? I think we'll get Grave Shot, Hot Shot. Do I want to get Merchant Man? Do I want this, this path to just be Merchant Man? I think we should probably realistically just make it a Pirate Lord. Boop. And now we can go ahead and get Monkeyopolis, bigger radius. We can begin the journey of 1,000 banana farms or something like that. We're also about to have to go up against a Moab. I'm gonna get cannon ship because it seems that we're having a little bit of problems now. Let's get advanced intel because that allows him to see everywhere. Airburst starts, uh, advanced intel, ballistic missile. I've never been a huge ballistic missile fan. Missile seeks targets within range and does extra Moab and ceramic damage. How much extra Moab damage are we talking about, right? I feel that there's so much about balloons, I don't know. There's so much to know about all the intricate details of how certain towers work together, what exactly certain upgrades do. I mean, there's... Balloons is a complicated game because there's so many things you can go back to it over and over. Oh, are we okay here? Oh, yeah, we're fine. Okay, maybe we okay, maybe we uh, need to work a little bit more on our defense though. Well, let's see. I can put one here. Can I put one over here? I can. Well, let's just go and get a favorite, a flavor trade, as our friend Saber calls them. And then we can go. You know what's really been kind of crazy recently is the aircraft carrier. Okay, the aircraft carrier is insane now. It is actually insane how good it is now. Right, we really don't need anything now. We have lead popping. We got camo. We got, we got everything we could ever want. Except money now. So now we just gotta wait and try to get some banana research facilities. We have seen a video where we put every paragon into one, which was kind of crazy. There was just so much going on. But it'd be cool to see merging paragons, being able to merge two paragons together. If you could merge any two paragon together, what would it be and why? I feel that I would pick Goliath Doom Ship and then the art and then the mage. The Goliath Doom Mage? How cool would that be? Imagine it's the ship that flies around, but instead of the darts, it just shoots out the lasers. That would be so cool. So let's just get one trade empire. And then, because we need to get all the T5s anyways, because we got to turn them into paragons. We need to get the sub paragon first, though. Once we get that, all right. Trade empire has been locked down, making us a lot of money. An exuberant amount of money. I need... $100,000! You want banana? We have bananas. Look at this aircraft carrier. This aircraft carrier is so good. It's 28,000 pops. 
nothing can stop it. Advanced Intel is such a good ability. I wonder what tower would benefit the most from having advanced intel. What what tower do you want? Ninja with advanced intel would be crazy because he could just home in on the darts. So he'd be kind of like another sub. So that would be really, 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 really good. I mean, Sniper technically always has advanced intel on, so I don't know if that even counts. Whoa! Okay, we need to we need to pick up the pace here. So we got Energizer now, which gives us more more money actually. And so since we get that, we should probably just get the bank. If we have the Energizer, we might as well get Monkey Nomics because it's a 20% cooldown reduction. So it's gonna be good no matter what it does. Can I get Carrier Flagship? No, 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 no. We don't need this. We need Sub Paragon first. That's what we really want. Sub Paragon. First strike capability, preemptive strike, and then sub commander. And then once we have sub commander, we are going to be golden. All right, we have sub commander. All right, we can now get the Nautic Siege Core. $432,000. A very respectable price for a Paragon, might I add. That only gets too outrageous for a Paragon. Did you ever play Balloons when there was no Paragons? Okay, I remember there not being Paragons. I remember there not, I remember there not being a Dartling Gutter. Back in my day, BDD6 was not released with the Dartling Gunner. BDD, I don't think they had the Engineer either. I'm pretty sure they also released the, I don't think it was with, during release they had Engineer. That was wild. If you, if you want to, there's a video of when I got early access to BDD6 and playing it for the first time. Wild. Like super wild going back and seeing all the differences. We actually don't need that much more money. What, $70,000, something like that? Once we have that, then we're good. Ooh. Boom. Uh, now that we've had the upgrade monkey on the channel, I've actually grown to really like and appreciate first strike capability. All right, we now have enough. It is time for us to get the Nautic Siege Core, friends. Let's go. I'm not giving it any of my money, though. It looks so funny. It, it just looks so ridiculous with him just sitting out of the water like that. He's just like, hi -ya! When you you submerge it, he, don't, he doesn't even submerge that much. Oh, it's cool. He has a little, like, mechanic where he pops up when he does that. That's cool. But definitely want to keep him up up and at him. All right. We need to get everyone ready for the final merge, though. The Navark of the Siege. Wait. It's Navark of the Siege. Wait. I always thought it was Navark of the Seas. Like of the high seas, like he's on the seas. But it's Navark of the Siege. Wait, what? How did I not know this? Is this one of those Mandela effects things? Am I just, did you think it was also Navark of the Seas? Did you know it's Navark of the Siege and I'm just dumb? I think I have to be dumb. I have to be just super, super dumb. I'm, I'm actually flabbergasted right now. That's wild. All right, how much does this cost? $600,000. That's so much money. I don't have that kind of money. 100000 So, 200000 I'm actually very close. Okay, I think we have enough. All right, let's sell everything and then just hope that we have enough. All right, I'll wait. I, I'll wait for this ability. All right, now we definitely have enough. Oh my gosh, we had plenty of money. All right, friends. It's time. Navark of the Siege. Let's see what this merge paragon turns into. Three, two, one. Let's just give it all of our money. Whoa, there we go. Whoa! Holy cow, that looks so sick. Whoa! Look at that. Wait, wait, what is it even shooting? I don't know, but look at this. It has the, it's like red and pink and purple and that's so cool. I love the effect that it has. It actually looks so cool. And it has both abilities? This thing is broken. Look, it also looks like the plane. Wait, the planes also shoot out the missiles. Oh, look, wait, wait. The planes also have the submarine effect too. Okay, we need to get, okay, we need to skip some rounds. All right, round 100. Okay, all right. Let's go up to round. We need to get to some round where we actually have some difficulties here. Round 140. That was round 140. All right, let's go to round 200. I know that sounds crazy, but... Okay, maybe round 200 wasn't crazy. The abilities still... Look how long the abilities on cooldown. What even? Holy cow, this ability's on cooldown for so long. 
And it's... Oh! Oh, whoa. That, that DDT kind of got a little far. That DDT got kind of got a little bit far. All right, friends. It's time. I want to use the... I want to use the ability. The ability seems awesome. Whoa! The ability launches so fast now. There isn't this really long cooldown. Look at all the... Oh, it just creates all this nuclear waste everywhere. It's still there! Wait, what? The nuclear waste just stays... Does, wait, is it permanent? I love how the planes also have the, the radar detection on it. That's really cool. 38 million pops. Holy cow. Wait, it's made $22,000. Does it make money? It does. Oh, I guess it makes money when you put balloons in. No? I don't know. I have no clue. I couldn't tell you. We're also on round 205. It's so good. I love the color scheme, how it's red and pink. I guess it's because it's Valentine's, which is very cool. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. I really hope this comes out on Valentine's Day. If you don't have a Valentine's, you can be my Valentine. <laughs> And boom. I love that ability. It's so much fun. This thing is insane. And we got 100 million pops. And then $45,000. I don't know where the money's coming from. No clue. Couldn't tell you. Don't come at me, IRS. But that's why we're going to end off the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. And we'll see you tomorrow.